this is strange. Oh, wait, no, life is strange. Life is strange. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Uh, photosensitive sizers. Huh. Oh, Square Enix. They have their hands in everything nowadays, man. So, I think this is kind of like The Walking Dead. In a matter of gameplay, where it's kind of like a visual novel. I think. Was that laggy? Did that feel laggy for anyone? Is this supposed to be like this? Let's just dive right into it. Player's choice consequences of all your game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, future. Choose wisely. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. I'm gonna try to kill off as many people as possible. Okay. I didn't think this was Resident Evil shit. What is the Batsy Gow doing on the ground? Stand up, Batsy Gow. Bust a move. Bust in wine. It's so loud. It's still so loud. And where is here? Sally? Wait, there's a lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. Okay. I hope. Please let me make it there. Do you actually control her or? Oh, you do? Okay. Lighthouse. In the middle of like a hurricane? Like this strange man. Holy shit. Hey, 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 watch your language, kid. Hi guys, it's me. Uh, yeah, editing this, I noticed that there's a big echo, and I'm really fucking pissed off about it, uh, because this is like an hour of filming that I did this, and then I think I filmed another episode too on that same day, so I think I am legit fuming about this. <laughs> so, I think I fixed the problem for future videos, so I apologize for this one really. If anything, it is subtitled, so you can just mute it and then read it out loud if you uh, Yeah, I fucked up. Okay, back to the video. We mostly call film little pieces of time. <laughs> but he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I'm okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in life? I didn't fall asleep, and I sure didn't feel like a dream. You were scared. Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? Why are I can hear the class laughing at me now. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Oh. Oh, so this is a story? I'll put all of these up for a few seconds. If you want to read them, just pause. Uh, I'm just going to read it really quick and then get back to it. So this should be enough time to pause it for you guys. Moral of the story, she's antisocial. She loves her teacher, Mr. Jefferson. Please, bullshit. bullshit. Shh, shh, shh. Keep that for yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a 
Suffy, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> the point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the micro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process. Fucking throw it at her. How do you throw it at her? Grab the fucking pen. Sorry, Max. No more selfies right now. The self portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. I don't think there's much else to me to do. Guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career. And then he'll fucking groom the hell out of you. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. This girl's a crush on the teacher, eh? <laughs> Damn, it doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Kiss an ass. Kiss my ass. Walk one. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Not doing any good coke lately? What the fuck's wrong with you? You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Oh. <laughs> with that here, yeah. Want to grab a cup of tea? I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. She sounds like a lunch lady, man. Let's hang later. Sure. <laughs> huh, this might make a cool shot. I only want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. Oh, cool, there's optional photos. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Being lit. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't. I believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Aren't you 15 years old? You're not Damn, school. they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vid. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henry Cartier-Bresson. Man, he even has man, he even has the best plasma H man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Someone can like Can't reverb wait to that watch and like make it a fucking man, man he even has man, he even has the man, he even, man, he even, even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. You can never Light escape the black house here. What a bitch. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. I'll smack her. What up, Jeffy? Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? It's almost like life is strange. But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist. Harness the power of the freckle. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. He's probably hung. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You always go to the real world. Cute? Huh. Then I might send you a special picture of Chinese What's the point of even? Because Max wants everybody to see how pimp she is. I'm not 
I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. Yeah, foot up on the wall. She's cool. I mean, she's cool. She's so fucking shy. Is that the F word? There's F words in this game? Country road. Take me home. Fighter. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. 19. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. Ew. Imagine a world without you. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. What up, Justin? That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. That's bully. I will not stand for this. After I talk to you. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. Stella is always deep in her Stella. mouth. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. I love that picture of mom and dad. <laughs> Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. I love that picture of mom and dad. It's a fucking drawn. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. I don't know what that means. I wish October would last forever. I agree. It's a great, great season. Don't End of fall. Miss the party. Sweater and weather. And I did not steal that backpack. They should just call it a sugar machine. Uh -huh. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. Yeah. Oh. I need to go splash some water on my face and freshen up first. Go up on the piss up. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. <sighs> now who would bother to write that crap? Someone's taking a shit. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Oh, yeah, they do say upwards here. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, bro, you don't get a photo off like this every day. 
Get the camera. Uh oh. With Amanda I'm in the women's bathroom still. It's, it's cool, Layton. Don't, Don't stress. stress. You're, You're okay, okay, bro. Just come, come to three. three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I want it, I could blow it up. You're the boss. Wow, school so shoot already. Want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now. Let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What, what are you, are you doing? doing? Come on, put that thing down! down. Ever tell, tell me what, what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Oh. Uh oh. Wow, I didn't expect this. All the guns gonna go off and shoot. Whoa. Uh huh? What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Yeah, she likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. Can you give me an example of a photographer? I cannot believe this. The human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? That's a really cool concept. Oh. I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured the human time machine. That's okay. Cool concept of a game. Max, don't freak out. Not there you go. Browser, my old broken camera is new again. Keep it together, Max. Hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. It's called a selfie. A dumb, a dumb word for a wonderful, wonderful photographic tradition. tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming of this. You all know it's gonna real. groom. <laughs> I can tell. So I can go back in time. Just too easy nowadays. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? The point can I save her? Has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Got the shit. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody who... Oh, shit. Jefferson wants to keep me up, and I need time to save that girl. The process that gave birth is a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now yeah. you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad, Sad face. face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Uh, Max, since you've captured our... I've seen this three times already. The Daguerrean process. Invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, nice work Max. Max. Come to my room later and the I will bring you. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. 
The Max is so, so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. And groom. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So this Stella just seems like and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. See you creeping Max, like a seed in the saddle. You're not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Okay. Okay, Daddy. I'd never let one of photography's future star... I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. Don't wait. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. That's actually a good quote. I can't remember what he said. Yes, Victoria. You Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's... I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. Life is what happens is when you're busy making other Make sure plans. Working on it by life is what happens when you're busy making other plans. I guess it's just a formal way of saying life goes on. I like it. Life goes on. Oh, we're halfway there. I hope I have enough time to get you back. Not please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Okay, Max. Retrace every step. I washed my face. I pissed I in my hand. Then the butterfly flew in. Sting like a butterfly. Photo. Sting like a bee. <laughs> Beethoven. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that Ever. thing down! Tell me I need a hammer to break it open. A people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm Your face is then covered in guilt. Out of here, Missy. Or Where's that mustache? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. I thought it was the fire department's job to confirm that there's no actual fire there. Not a fucking mustachioed security guard. What going, Prinwells? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. Well, you're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? I'm thinking about you could fucking your ass. Me, Max. <laughs> or have you done something wrong? Is, Is that, that it? it? Well, Max? Well, Max? Talk to me. Talk to me. I'm reporting the bitch. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around. In the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes, 
He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girl's room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Damn. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Oh, I get this game. How many times? I can rewind as much as possible. Let's give it a shot. You look a little stressed out. Let's see. I just got sick in class. Uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing... Oh, this guy's a dick. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside. I should class. snitch. You know what? Fuck this guy. Please. If he's gonna snitch, I'll be the snitch. Yeah, fuck him. No. no, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. I like where, you're, <laughs> like where yeah, she's preaching. Like truth. grabbing his heart. You look all right. Take Terry. Fuck you, Nathan. Fuck you, Nathan. I'm not taking this. Fuck you. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front <laughs> office? Thank you. Fuck you, Nathan. Hi, Ms. Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Ms. Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Who are the Native Americans? Native Americans? <laughs> the tribes who were here first, who welcomed the settlers. Both cultures found a mutual symbiosis and thrived. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Ah, no, fuck you. Not Ms. anymore. I totally respect your passion and knowledge, but some security cameras make me feel a little safer. She's gonna treat me like a bitch? I'm fuck not you. against security, Max. We should all be concerned when private space becomes public. There's no private your space. Your generation has been tricked to think everything should be recorded. Fuck you, you little tramp. Is he dead? I got a message.
Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I think He's so. so hot. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. Who's the leopard friend? His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Now that you mention it, he doesn't respond to Victoria's flirting. That means he has good taste. You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. <laughs> okay. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Ain't Rachel. Ain't nobody fucking with my clique. Who the fuck is that guy? Um, I feel like there's a lot to explore in this place. Uh, where do I go? Um, assuming not there. Um, Daniel? Oh, hi Max. Could I um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face Kills used as a crime face use it. Ah, She has a good heart. She has such a good heart. You know her? You knew her? No, but no. once she but asked me to draw her portrait, her portrait oh, uh, she, she was a natural. natural. What happened? So what, what happened to her? There's got to be a good There's story. There's gotta be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way! You're a good substitute, Muse. What a bitch. I'm a fucking rocket. I'm a dime. Oh, that's, that's a, a good, good posture. posture. Oh, okay, all right. Good, good, <laughs> good. <laughs> so good, good, good. Best that's, portrait Oh ever. wait, that's actually pretty sick. Good job, Daniel. So cool, cool guy, man. Cool, cool color, man. A lot of consequences. You're late. Well, fuck you. I'm gonna Clara. fucking fuck Luke. Hello? Max, I don't, I don't feel like, like talking. talking. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. You, you know him? I busted him today with a gun. What? Seriously? I saw him wave a gun around today and I went to the principal. We'll see what happens next. You are my new hero. Finally, karma comes to Blackwell. Popular kid FaceTime. Talk to... I was going to say his name was Skyler. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. Oh, fuck you. a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Huh. Stephen Curry? Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. Robert the Cap Artist. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, I sir. I fucking hate this guy. Is that Death Note? These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Can we play catch with the boys? 
Sup? Ow! No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Fucking loser. Sup, Oh. Hi, Max. What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. It's a bestseller. What to say? Good point. Now, if you'll excuse me. Real charmer. Glad to see our campus is eco friendly. <laughs> oh, look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Fuck yeah, I am. What a lame gimmick. Want some of this Even good Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> These women look like they're 43. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find. <laughs> she looks like Jennifer. What's her fucking name? <laughs> we ain't moving. Um, from Hungary. Oh wait, hold that pose. Hudson? No. Love Hewitt? So no. What the fuck is her name? Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social media. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh. Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Oh, what? What the fuck, Jennifer? What? Oh. Katniss. No. What the fuck is her name? <laughs> okay, whatever, Jennifer. Call her Katniss and Peter Bread. What's up, buddy? Put a ball in my mouth. Sorry. You okay, Kate? Why can't I talk to Kate? Nice, bro. What the hell? <laughs> Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Awesome. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? Oh, you look. Great. I can't even chill on the steps. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, boy. No. Oh, so you can fuck with people in this game. That's actually funny. Awesome. Face. I need to figure this out. have missed something. I should rewind. Sweet. Nice, bro. Has to do something with the football, right? Damn, I missed something. I better rewind. Oh. Okay, let's see if this works. Do you understand English? Get lost. Victoria? Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Yeah. Oh, no, you can talk to Kate. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. How did you like class today? I don't remember. I guess I don't care about much of anything today. Well, that's a little depressing. Is there depressing. anything 
Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Max, get a clue. Can't, I'm stupid. What's up, buddy? Football, Max. Big football. Step away. Okay. Yeah. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. No need to go there now. Oh, man. She looks so sad and lonely sitting there. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? You know, fuck you. Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait, hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. She's gonna fucking murder me. Uh, What's up, Pussy? I'll come for you. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon esque. Yeah. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Well, I'm actually glad I rewinded there. <laughs> Maybe feel less of an asshole. Victoria probably played me. What? Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. Juliet, extreme reporter. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the... So cheesy, but... It... Mom. Makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of... Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV... Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash Here's drive from Chase's source room. for instant photo. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm... Cartier-Bresson, do I know? Hamilton, the greatest. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rotten there. 
Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Hi, Juliet. This is so stupid. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. <laughs> what did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's so mean. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Um, I think it's Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. Oh. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Answer, you wuss. Bradley Martin? Same hairline and everything. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. I'll give Victoria a prop. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. It's quite the shirt. Oh, Max has a friend. Almost done. Get the flash drive, and then I'll go see Warren. It would be a cool sticker without the words. This is both sad and pathetic. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Real mature, Bradley. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Hmm. Daniel has so- I am so- Lauren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no I'm matter how tempting. Sandies. I have my self-respect. I better make sure everything is still in there. 
I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it, no. I am so addicted. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the Party Buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. I don't. It feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. What do I do? Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Okay, what the fuck am I doing here? <laughs> it's such a pretty guitar. I need to play it more. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just more stressed. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. So what am I doing here? Am I missing something? Do I just leave? I don't know. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. So play the sitar. That's not. <laughs> um. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go with Thunderbirds. But so what do I do? I might just have to leave. Okay, so we're leaving. Cool, cool. Finally. Fuck this shit! Ow! Get lost, that hit, hurt. sir. Damn, I better anything. rewind. Get lost, hit, sir. I'm not doing any interviews. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. 
I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. What is this fucking asshole's problem? Security guards, man. They always have the biggest egos. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. I took a photo. It lasts longer. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. Even though I pissed off the other guy, I'm happy that I saved her. It felt like an everyday hero helped me. Oh, this is a dickhead. <laughs> dickhead. Hey, dickhead. Hey, are you are a dickhead. I think... I might just end part one here. This game honestly isn't that bad. I thought it was going to be a lot worse, to be honest. But so far, it's been pretty interesting. And... Um... Yeah, I'm kind of excited to see how the game goes from here, so let's, uh, I will see you next time. Bye.